how's it going? We're talking about breathing again today and this time we're also adding in some selective tension. Now I'm sure most of you are familiar with the standard selective tension exercise. We tend to do one form of it in most of our classes and that is simply as we inhale we tense a whole body part as we exhale that part relaxes. The rest of the body stays relaxed throughout. So the normal cycle is we inhale, tense the legs, exhale, relax a few times, then the stomach, then the chest, the arms, the back, the head, and we normally finish by tensing the whole body on the inhale and relaxing on the exhale. So that's the foundation exercise for what we're going to do today. And what we're going to do today is talk more about how we can move that tension around the body. This has several benefits. It's very good for developing muscular control. It's very good for getting rid of tension. Tension that comes in, you can move it and get rid of it. Or of putting tension out in the terms of striking, delivering tension into someone or something else. It's also very good for developing cross-body communication and also for working on new neural pathways. So there's a lot of benefits to be gained from this type of exercise. From a health perspective, it's also a kind of mindful movement because, of course, we're harmonising the breathing, the inner aspect and the muscles, the external aspect, we're harmonising those together. So first thing we're going to do is just establish a, a path, a direction, and we're going to do that by gradually tensing the arm from the fist all the way up to the chest on an inhale and then relaxing on an exhale going back down the same way. So we can think of this like a glass filling up with water or a wave of tension and relaxation that come up and down the arm. So the procedure is just this, we start with the fist, as we begin the inhale we tense the fist and that tension now travels up into the forearm, upper arm, shoulder, chest. I'm going to exaggerate all these movements a little bit just so it's, uh, it's clear, you can see clearly what's happening. So once again, that's starting with the fist on the inhale, up the arm to here. Now on the exhale I release the tension starting from the chest and out through the hand. Of course this is all timed with the breathing so you can do this quite quickly or you can take a little more time over it. So that's our first thing and uh, we're going to do that on both arms a few times just to get that feel. Once you've got that idea then we can look at the tension coming all the way across the body. So what we're going to do now is inhale all the way across and then exhale all the way back. So now this tension, this movement, this internal feeling is coming all the way across the body. So if we start with the right hand again, then we inhale. So it's going to be a longer breath now. Inhale, coming up, across, and out. Now we exhale, releasing from the left fist. And out. Again, I'm kind of making this a little bit big and obvious so you can see what's going on. You can, of course, exaggerate this movement because this is one way to develop the wave movement. Uh, the wave can be done purely with movement, this kind of work. But it's interesting to experiment with it using tension as well. So if I, if I do the kind of wavy version, so now we start getting this uh, the tension is creating a sort of ripple or wave in the body. So that's one method of moving the tension but of course as the tension passes through it's staying there. What we want to do now is think of the tension like a ball. Imagine like a, 
a tennis ball or something and wherever that ball is it brings tension into the body. So the ball starts in the hand, as it moves up the arm then the hand relaxes. The tension is now just in the forearm. As it moves into the upper arm the forearm relaxes and so on. So we'll just go up and then back down first of all. So it's here and then back down Do this side as well, so here and then back down. Okay, so again, that's something that will be practiced a few times. Now, once you've got that idea, we can go for the full movement. So now we establish this pathway through the body, in this case, from right hand to left hand. Of course, we also do left hand to right hand, you can work the same method, you should work the same method, foot to foot, and then you can start connecting foot to hand, crown of the head to the feet, and so on. Just connect two parts of the body and move that ball of tension between them. So, we we'll do this a, a couple of times, I'm going to go from right to left again, and it should look something like this. So I'm inhaling up, exhaling down. We'll do one more time. Again, I'll exaggerate a little bit. So that's the basic. Uh, drill. Now as you're doing this try and be very aware, for example when I was doing this here there was a little bit of tension remaining in that shoulder as that ball come across. So don't just do it uh, mindlessly, focus on what you're doing and really try and feel and visualise that ball of tension. So as I say from there we go back the other way, foot to foot and so on. You can actually develop a whole routine, I mean this could take a good 10-15 minutes just to work through all the different areas of the body connecting them up with this line of tension. One other thing to consider is how deep this tension works. Uh, you can use a kind of surface tension, the, the outer muscles are tensed, but once you get the feel of this then see if you can start working deeper tension, almost like you're trying to squeeze the, the bones. Another thing to consider is tendons rather than muscles. So, so here we're obviously uh, constricting the, the muscles but think also about activating the tendons. So this is a relaxed hand, this is a tense hand and this is activating the tendons. So likewise I can activate the tendons in the arm and the wrist uh, again, it's probably a little bit difficult to see. So we can do that same feeling by activating tendons. Also then think about working uh, on a more internal level. So the tension is not so overt now. It's, it's kind of an internal tension. Again, it's difficult to put this across on video because it's a, it's a feeling. But it might look something like this. You see there's not much to see but the tension is running a little bit deeper and running inside the body. Now this work is important on a number of levels. As I said it allows us to deal with tension if someone hits us. We can take that tension, we can get rid of it or we can give it back. It's a very good way to develop your short strikes because you can deliver uh, a lot of power from a very close range. And also, don't just think of this as a physical exercise. I mentioned this mindfulness aspect already. 
But another thing to consider is someone hits, they give you physical tension, right? But also with that comes emotional tension as well, because there's not many people who can take a hit and just go, okay, all right, uh, unless they're doing systema maybe. So a hit also can be emotional. If someone comes up and shouts in your face, that's not a physical uh, assault as such, but it will create emotional tension. And as we know, emotional tension creates physical tension, physical tension creates emotional tension. The two feed off of each other. So once you start developing this kind of work, you build up uh, a very good feeling for when and where tension develops in the body. You should be able to pinpoint that tension. So if you're feeling uh, stressed, for example, and the shoulders are a little tense, then just spend a few minutes moving that tension out of the body. On that level, this exercise is very good for dealing with what you might call a superficial stress or tension, everyday stress, the sort of things we get every day. Now it gets even more interesting when we start working deeper because uh, when we get trauma, whether that's through injury or things, events that have happened to us, quite often the emotion of that trauma stays deep within the body. It kind of gets locked in the muscles. Not so much the surface muscles, but usually quite deep in the core. So again, this type of exercise is a gateway to learning how to release that tension and so how to release that psychological and emotional stress as well. And that's what we'll be looking at next time. So thanks for watching. I hope all of that was quite clear. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and sign up for our newsletter as well. The link is below. While we're in this strange period, obviously there's a lot of stress around. Uh, if you do have any questions or any particular type of work you'd like to see, then please get in touch via our Facebook page or pop a comment below. In the meantime, I hope you stay safe, stay healthy and above all, stay positive.